and welcome to theCUBE's coverage here in Boston, Massachusetts for Red Hat Summit 2023. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. We'll be here for two days for wall-to-wall -wall coverage, kicking off the event. Dimitri Karabina, senior director's here from DXC, senior director of global offerings, cloud and infrastructure. DXC, thanks for coming on theCUBE, kicking us off. Thanks for having me. So DXC is one of the largest global integrators. You guys have a lot of employees, a lot of customers. What do you guys do? Explain to the folks out there, what's the current, I won't say strategy, I'll say digital transformation has been going on for a while, but what's kind of the state of the market for you guys? Take a minute to explain what you guys do. Absolutely, so DXC is one of the largest global systems integrators in the world, 130,000 people. It's a result of a merger seven years ago between HP Enterprise Services and CSC, and that's really enabled us to take that talent, take that base, and really expand into all facets of IT. So we deliver application services, enterprise applications, infrastructure services, mainframe network. Basically, we can do anything you need from your data center management services all the way into next-gen container solutions, serverless technologies, industry-based solutions. I was listening to Matt Hicks on this keynote, and he's still finishing up now, they'll be coming on here. He had an interesting kind of observation. He's like, you know, in his career, he's had these moments in time where that were profound for him. Open source exposure for the first time he compiled his own code uh, to the internet, to writing an iPhone app, and then AI is kind of right here now. So he's kind of kind of sets these marks in time that, and he really was doubling down on the AI message. Seems to be the hottest topic of the show here. Um, obviously, clients are you know thinking about it as an opportunity, either to refactor or accelerate their digital transformation or business transformation. How do, how do you guys see that playing out? Obviously, there's a lot of hype. What's the current view right now on the AI? Uh, is it a catalyst? Are people cautious? What do you guys see? Well, everybody's excited about it. I'm excited about it too. I play with it myself at home, just hobby style. But the, the fact of the matter is AI needs to be adopted correctly because you look at these generalized AI models that exist in the cloud, GP, chat GPT, most companies don't want their data exposed to everybody. So they need privatized models, and when you train on targeted sets, it really lets you get better data out of it. So where DXE is positioned is with our analytics group to help our clients really develop AI models that allow them to use their data in an effective way that's secure and really benefits them without opening them up to competition from the other industries. You know, we've been covering DXE for a long time, you know, back and going, going back to the merger and, and before that with separate companies. You guys really do have that kind of skill set that I think adds a lot of value. And I think you mentioned the data piece. I mean, AI is basically a data, a data play. And having the right data is key, whether you're training data, how you handle interacting with other data sets, and obviously the large language models just amplify that whole notion of going faster. It's almost like it finally arrived. <laughs> the real AI. So I, I can imagine this could be a, a big boom for developers. So I have to ask, what's the relationship with Red Hat that you guys have? Because developer productivity is a big hot topic for them. They're saying doing more with less is the theme here. But I just think there's going to be a massive more onboarding of more developers and more code with AI. So I can, I can imagine you guys are going to be in a good spot. What's the relationship with Red Hat? What's the combo look like? I mean, we have a very good relationship with Red Hat. It extends more than 22 years. Uh, we're a Red Hat premier partner. They're one of our strategic partners. Hundreds of certified engineers. We use the full suite of products as you would expect with a company our size. OpenShift, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. We're developing new technologies on the connected car using the Red Hat uh, in-vehicle operating system, open source capabilities. So very strong relationship, lots of capabilities, like good strong partnership. Talk about the legacy um, environment. When I say legacy, I know in my notes here, you got a, main, a lot of mainframe in there too. You see containers and you know, the role of containers and Kubernetes with cloud native being in that next layer where VMs were kind of like the first wave, virtual machines came in, awesome innovation, now you got the cloud native. How is all that playing out from an integration standpoint as customers still have the legacy hardware and software Obviously, RHEL's a big part of that. What services do you guys do to bring that together to make it modern? So, we offer a lot of services in that space. One of the big things going on right now, and I, I don't know, my personal opinion is the modern technology is creating a gulf where you have new application development, you have AI, analytics, containers, serverless technologies, and then you have mainframe network data center services. What DXC really lets you do is modernize the legacy in a way that makes sense 
but optimized for the future on all those applications that can run in the cloud, can leverage AI models, can leverage containers more effectively. You don't leave anything stranded behind. There's no car parked in your garage getting old. <laughs> yeah, it's always like, what's what, what, a machine? Let's well, put a wrapper around it, container, containerize it. So what makes you guys different? I mean, there's a lot of other partners out there. Digital transformation, I don't want to say it's become cliche, everyone talks about digital transformation, but the focus has been business transformation and mm -hmm. trusted advisor, now with AI hype, sorting that out is going to be a big thing. What makes you guys different compared to the competition? I mean, the one bullet point we always talk about is we do the difficult stuff. Because of our size, our scale, the number of partnerships we have, we can solve challenges that many other companies can't do. And that's because we can talk to you about AI, but we can also talk to you about what's your plan with your mainframe? How are you treating your edge networking? How are you managing your legacy operating systems? Is your environment secure, full security practice? So the fact that we can have all those conversations along with developed industry solutions that really help accelerate those business drivers you're talking about really helps us stand out in the marketplace. Give some examples of some implementations you guys have done that encapsulate that. So example would be for a German bank. We leveraged the OpenShift container platform along with Portworks, uh, Pure Storage's Portworks solution to really help them solve their DR strategy. So RPO is zero, RTO less than 15 minutes. Our connected car solution, really enabling the auto manufacturers to treat the car as a smart platform, push updates, develop new features rapidly, quickly. You can really leverage the car in a way you use your smartphone today. You know, cloud operations have become the hybrid, obviously, standard now. You see that now. I mean, they mentioned that on stage too. Oh, hybrids for a decade. I'm like, eh, maybe not a decade, but maybe eight. No, it's a decade, probably a decade. 2013, I'd say, would be when that kind of introduced. Hybrid on-premise is basically cloud operation. Now you got edge. When you look at those three things, how do you view the operation on the infrastructure side as you look at that from your standpoint with the customers? Are they thinking more of, okay, networking's the big challenge now? What's the, what's the state of cloud operations on a, in, a, in a distributed environment? I mean, different, yeah. The challenge you have is many clients are still suffering from towers. They have a network tower, they have a storage tower, they treat security as an isolated incident. When we come in and we help, we bring a true DevSecOps model that manages the entire hybrid ecosystem effectively and efficiently, so you're bringing the right tools to the right place and you're managing it as one team. And that one team mindset really drives the application value into the business. You know, one of the things Dave Vellante and I have been always saying on theCUBE is IT operations is, you know, IT is going to transform the business. If you look at IT and the developer DevOps movement, you kind of see IT, traditional IT, move into the developer's hands. And then the ops side becomes a security data conversation. So it's, you're seeing like the operational knobs changing a little bit. What do you guys see there? Because IT, you know, I mean, think about IT, it was, an area to serve the business, but now technology is everywhere. Mm -hmm. So IT is embedded in all aspects of the organization. So the new IT emerges. What do you see that, that emerging into? Is it the security teams? Is it the data teams? What becomes that new operational point for, the, for a company when technology is ubiquitous? So the pandemic really actually helped move this forward in a way that makes more sense because the fact that IT is now part of the business. It's integrated into the business. It's, the IT budgets increased during the pandemic. And what happens now is IT is an enabler for the business. Instead of doing all the work, they enable the developers to do the work. They set the guardrails, they set the security standards, but they don't slow down the business. So it really helps accelerate everything. So IT is just as critical before, but they're more the caretakers of what's going on. I got to ask you about the Ansible situation because they either have their own event now as part of Red Hat Summit. Mm -hmm. And talk about a perfect storm of innovation that Red Hat you know, gets a, a good break. They bought Ansible and everything now is about automation, playbooks. <laughs> so interesting how that's spinning back in. Now you've seen that become standard with AI. Automation's only going to get better. How do you see the future playing out for your customer base and for you guys as you look at these new technologies coming in, more automation, more intelligence, and you got to put guardrails down, you got to watch out for you know, the AI getting out of control, going off the rails as they say. So what's, what's your view of the future? So my view of the future on this is Ansible has been a very critical catalyst for automation, but automation extends beyond tooling. It's a mindset, it's a development way of thinking, in the industry, when you look at IT, you look at network engineers, storage engineers, mainframe engineers, five years, you're going to have developers. 
everything is going to be development based. You're not going to have tower based engineers. And all that automation is just going to be code first from the start, and it'll be the way of the future. Dimitri, thanks for coming in. I really appreciate you coming on theCUBE and sharing the DXC perspective. Final question for you, what are some of the conversations you're going to have here this week in Boston, in the hallways, meetings, dinners? You got a lot going on. What are, what are some of the conversations going to be like? My favorite conversations with our clients and with other vendors is really about what are you doing to help move the business forward? What business metrics are you helping drive to success? Because the business is the buyer, the business is the future, and we need to see how do we help accelerate that forward. Dimitri, thanks for coming on. Dimitri Karabina, Senior Director, Global Offerings Cloud and Infrastructure here on theCUBE. I'm John Furrier. Stay with us for more live coverage after this short break. <laughs>